Okie doggies. So I think this is the first live I've done. Hopefully we want to do more of them. And we have is that one person watching. What's that little little group thing mean? Does that mean someone's watching? Mm -hmm. uh, I think yeah, there's one person. Hey, watching. hey, viewer, welcome to Seattle Makers. Can they hear it? Yeah, this microphone's on. Oh, should be able to hear it. It's kind of relaxing to watch. Say hi to you two. Uh, hi, you two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, broke off. <laughs> now this is a shoddy camera yeah, work. Now it's just like, oh, am I watching? This is behind the scenes. Yeah. Oh. Oh. This is real life. I'm trying to remember the real world intro. Oh, then we got, now we got a. Two paint shards or metal shards into our oh, yeah. paint, but that can add some texture, you know, yeah. some happy little texture. I mean, like, you've been through some life experiences. Yeah. You don't come out of those unscathed. It's more authentic mm -hmm. this way. No, I'm going to work with me. So. Hey, Mira, yeah. would you mind closing that? Alex is ruining my audio. Yeah. So if you've come to learn how to paint, you're in the right place. This is my second model I've painted, so got a bit of experience under my belt. So maybe two and a half hours at this point. I have so many techniques. I um, one is to instead of going into the detailed parts of the big glob you put it on a flat part first and then you spread it from there yeah that one i think i might have invented that one but i also got some real brushes this is this is actually my girlfriend's makeup brush 
or eyeliner. You start with what you got. And then... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, she's totally on board with this. Um, so the good thing is, I mean, this washes out completely as long as you wash it soon enough with dishwashing soap. So we just need, we don't need to tell her that. Yeah, I'll just tell her makeup brushes part of part of something great. And that teal looks great on her. Yeah, Yeah, I actually went down to the art store and after spending half the night on on Amazon and learning about the wool of paintbrushes, um, got one from Artisan and Craftsman. up in the University District in Seattle. Support your local artists or artist stores. And they have, have yeah, it's a zero. See, there's a zero on it. An out of focus zero. And they go like one, two, three, four, and they go zero, zero all the way down to really tiny. So I got this one's a brand new zero, so it's actually made for um, painting things other than faces. And then, whoa. See, this one is actually a two zero, two slash zero, L zero. So it's even tinier. Then this one is actually 18, 18 zero. That was super fun. I'm doing real tiny stuff. And Jeff um, Dorfman hosts a mini painting meetup every Wednesday. You can go to our our meetup page and join that for free. Just listens to music and he's the one to get actual tips from. He's been doing this for about a year. He's really getting into it. Also you can get a free 3D print your first time joining. We'll print one out at the space and get it to you.
I feel like I should be doing a Bob Ross commentary or something. It's like, yeah, that's uh, it's nice to have something to hold on to while you're painting. It's nice to have something to hold on to while you're painting. It's like it's nice to have some uh, these crazy times, but, you know. Whether you're out there with your special someone or all you've got is a little BMO to hang on to. Hope everybody's doing well out there in this crazy COVID world. How was that? You think that was too much? How was that? You think that was too much? I think it's hard. Let me go with like a... One of those radio shows you call in. We got him. Well, it could be like Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Hey, everybody. It's Hi. Alex come to visit. Hi there, neighbor. What are you doing? A YouTube. <laughs> um, anything a little bit, like a fraction bit bigger than a uh, half inch? Uh, for a drill bit. Everything I'm seeing stops it. We have a, it's not a forcemer bit. It's like the flat kind. Uh -huh. Okay. You know the one I'm talking about? Yeah. It's got uh -huh. like a screw end in the middle and then a Wide two blades yeah. to either side. That Did should be in the same drill bit drawer. So I'm finding, oh, that is, that is too wet, too hold still. And it takes a couple coats to actually build up to the color you want. And takes a bit of, well, in my case, at least a bit of touch up everywhere. So it's kind of like just starting and getting paint down and making it real janky and then gradually reducing the jankiness. I don't even know if the shoes are going to be in there. My color, at least. Okay. I think I need a heat gun for this. I wonder if it'll drop paint if I set it on its back. 
okay. You can fill in the valleys with the paint. Um, and if you want to get rid of, if you want to even smoother, just sand the tops off of the ridges. So this guy's printed flat. Built those directions so they're all layered this way. I mean, you spice it up with more than one color. Thank you. 
I talked about this relationship thing? Yeah. Let me end my live stream.